My name is Christine. These are my friends. And these are my students, my little monkeys. These are my travels, my adventures, my stories. This is my talk life. But first, let's start from the beginning. The 14th generation orientation was at the Busan University of Foreign Studies. It's a beautiful campus and it was the perfect setting for all of us 14th gens to settle into this new country that we'd be calling home for the next year. After about three weeks of preparation, we we're finally on our way to embark on this new journey as talk scholars. This is my home Chengdu. It is a small town, but it's undeniably beautiful. And I'm constantly finding new places to explore and new things to do. I am just half an hour away from Daegu by train, so I visit there every week. On Tuesdays, I go there for Korean classes. This is Pungak Elementary School. I have just over a hundred students. I didn't think that it was possible to love so many students at once, but let me tell you something, it's possible. Team two, cheer! While I teach my students English and about Western culture, my students are teaching me a lot as well. They've taught me patience, compassion, and perseverance. Finding my teaching style and learning how to adapt to all the different needs of the children took me several weeks. Despite having a hang of things now, some days can still be difficult. It can be challenging, but it is a challenge that I'm willing to face head on. I realize that the students learn the best when they are having fun. Because of this, I've included a lot more projects, crafts, and activities rather than doing exercises or worksheets. The students think that they're very lucky to have a foreigner teach them English, but I believe that I'm the lucky one. I've never had a job before where I've smiled from ear to ear every single day. Being a teacher for the talk program has been such a rewarding experience. I'm going to miss these kids when we go back to Canada, but for the next few months, I will continue to help foster their passion for learning English and I'll indulge in every remaining moment with them. One of my goals for the duration of my time in Korea was to experience as much about the culture as possible. I've traveled to seven out of the nine provinces thus far. I've attended several festivals, one of my favorites being the Busan Fireworks Festival. I've tried many different foods, some dishes being more memorable than others, such as the live octopus, Sanakji. And I've also been diligently learning the language. Every week I attend classes as well as I meet a language exchange. One aspect of Korea that is commonly known is K-pop. I've been lucky to attend a few concerts as well as to attend the K-pop convention in Jeju. These last nine months living in Korea has been nothing short of extraordinary. The places I've been, the people I've met, and the things that I've seen will forever be ingrained in my heart. My experiences with the talk program will follow with me for my next chapter in life. I am not for certain what awaits me, but what I am certain of is the personal growth that I've accomplished, the new set of skills that I've gained, and an expanded perspective of the world. <laughs>